Morning. Morning. I waited for you to come upstairs last night. Yeah, I got stuck working on this Triple Z project. Oh, yeah. Look, <clears throat> I know you're upset with me over this whole Beth thing, and I know you think that I told her intimate details of our relationship, but let me just say that she completely misrepresented our conversations, and I told her so yesterday. What? You went to see her? I mean, wh what is this? Why do you feel that you have to help her? What's going on? Vanessa, this is not about her. It was about you. I did not appreciate some of the things that she said to you. And so I, I told her that. And in the course of confronting her with this, I, I found out what her real problem is. Oh. What's her real problem? Philip and Harley got married yesterday. That's why she acted the way she did, in addition to you accusing her of being the stalker. I know she's a stalker. I know she is. And I know that you don't want to believe it. But look, you know, ever since she came back to Springfield, she's been living on the edge. And then just, she just slipped over or something. I don't know. Vanessa, she's not the stalker. Come on, Lillian is one of your best friends. So? Beth is not Lillian. <sighs> look, you got to face it, man. She lost the love of her life, right, to Harley. And the only other guy in town that she's gone out with is the most hated man in town. She is completely freaked out. This that's no moment. that's no proof. I don't need proof. I don't want proof. I know it. I mean, I know that Beth is the person who almost caused my death and put your daughter in a lot of danger. I don't buy it, Vanessa. I don't buy it for a minute. Beth is not that kind of a person to do so. All right. Beth is a very unhappy person. That's all. She's not capable of hurting someone, especially not our little baby girl. I feel sorry for her. I mean, she's going through a tough time, and we've both been there. We know what that's like. Don't ask me to feel sorry for a woman who tells me that I'm old enough to be your mother. What's this? Huh? Beth? You and Beth? No, no. Honey, no. What do you mean, no? I just heard you talking about it. Well, I was just saying that I think that Beth is a stalker, and he doesn't, and we were arguing, that's Are all. Are you kidding me? Look, no more about Beth, please. How are you? Where's Hart? I'm good, and Hart's great. He just went to pick up the present that I gave him. I arranged for Peter to spend the holiday with him. <gasps> Peter's going to be here in Springfield? Yeah, he's actually going to be here in a few minutes. He's going to spend the whole weekend, and Hart's just waiting for him at the airport. Oh, that's wonderful. I can't wait to see him. I know. Hart must be thrilled. He's so excited. He's so happy. Good, good. This way I'll get to introduce Peter to Maureen. I know. Excuse me, honey. I should probably go check on Maureen, see how she's doing. Matt. What's wrong? Well, call me crazy, but since the accident, I don't really like matches in my face. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I thought you were done building that little playhouse for Lizzie over at the Spaldings. Yeah, Beth must have been really grateful to have a man around the house. She seems like uh, the kind of woman who needs to have a man around, even if it's somebody else's. Who the hell are you to talk about anyone, Dinah? A woman who starts a fire to get a man's attention to trap him. You'd do anything to keep Hart, wouldn't you? Hurt anyone, including yourself. So she told you, huh? You're a joke, Dinah. Why is that, Matt? Because I'm committed to one person? Just one? Give me you a know, break. Passionately committed? Boy, you better have enough passion for the both of you, because no way Hart's going to stick this one out with you. You're such a bastard to say that to me. The truth hurts. You no, know, I want you to know that Hart loved me once, and he will love me again. He just needs to be with me long enough to realize that. And don't look at me like that, because I know you're not going to say a word to him. Because my mother would never forgive you. Wouldn't she? Please, Matt. You made your bed, Dinah. You can sleep in it. Although I'm curious how you sleep at all these days. I am sleeping surprisingly well, thank you very much, now that I'm sleeping next to Hart. Yeah, well, enjoy it. It's probably not going to last very long. Well, why don't we see how long my mother's gullibility lasts? Unlike my mom, I don't believe for one second that your interest in Beth Rains is innocent. It's far, far from it. What do you have against Beth? What is this thing that you've got with Beth? It's nothing, Dinah. Hey, I mean it. I'm not going to talk about Beth anymore. 
We, we've uh, we've been invited to the Spaldings, you know, for tonight. So we're just going to have a good time. All Mother, right? I'm not going to the Spaldings. Well, honey, you've been invited. I, I'm not ready to go out in public. I thought you said this was just going to be family. Hey, come on. I mean, you can't hide forever. It's just going to be friends. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Terry. I'm not interrupting. I hope I just wanted to give you an update on the stalker case. No, it's fine. Come on in. You're very good to come out on a holiday. Well, seeing how you took all the time to jam up our switchboards, I thought it was the least I could do. At any rate, I wanted to assuage your suspicions about Beth Raines being the stalker. Apparently, several witnesses confirmed that they saw her at Millennium the same time you were attacked. And along with your husband, who I'm sure you agree is a credible witness. So we have taken Beth Raines off our list of suspects. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I led the police on a wild goose chase. No, it's, it's not a problem. Is there anything else you can add to what you already know that no, might no, help us out? No, no, nothing, nothing. Okay, well, if you don't mind, I'd like to maybe take another look around outside, see That's if I can fine. find anything else. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you need me, I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait a second. You, uh, you, you... You remind me of a... someone I knew, a friend of mine. I'm sorry. I, I I was really wrong. I I I thought it was Beth. And... Hey, you both said some hurtful things, you know. But I believed that she was a stalker. I mean, I, I didn't say that because of what she said to me. That's not what happened. What? That you were old enough to be my mother? I hope not. Well, she was just lashing out. I mean, it wasn't as though I believed that. I I you know. Of course not. Me. It's ridiculous. Well, I, I don't ever think about our age difference. Why would you? You're still the most beautiful woman I know. Well, everything seems to be normal. I couldn't find anything unusual, so... Well, thanks very much, and again, I apologize. It's not a problem. Do you mind if I use your phone real quick? I want no. to check out the station. Go ahead. Oh, great, thank you. We better get going if we're going to make it to the Spaldings on time. Yeah, as if you cared. I told you that I would put up with Alan for one day if it would make your life easier, and I will. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to go get herself ready. Want to come? Yeah.